Welcome back. Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Cleveland Airport to Detroit Airport. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I'll set a flight level of 3,000 feet. And let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I will set that flight level now. There's 3,000. Alright, parking brake is on. Flaps are down all the way. I'm going to put them back up to halfway. That's how I usually take off. Let me just verify here. Yep. Alright, and let's go ahead and get started. This is part is still tricky for me, going straight down the runway. Seems like it's so basic, but it's kind of hard to judge what you're supposed to do and get that feedback loop working. Alright, well anyway, we can go ahead and pull up. I need to give it some more throttle, so my brain was kind of split attention there for a second. Alright, well, not a, not a great straight hey, takeoff, but seems fine. Cleveland Tower KH four two seven continue up. for west departure. And then flaps up and pull back on the stick, and let's turn. Seems kind of bumpy out here today. Almost at my target altitude, actually. Just keep turning. I'm gonna nose down a bit here. Hey, you are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Cleveland Tower KH-437 frequency change. Cleveland approach KH-437 is a plane time going by right above King us. Air 3 miles southwest of Cleveland, 2,900 feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. KH-437, Cleveland approach. Squawk 1455. Squawk 1455, KH-437. Okay, almost done turning. I'm just going to go ahead and engage the autopilot for now, and turn on navigation, pull back on the throttle, and I'll turn on altitude control. And we're off. Alright, so the master caution... Oh, right, once the yaw damper on, I always forget to turn that on. Um, I wish my Logitech switch box had a button for that. It's probably a keyboard button, I haven't been able to find it. Uh, going a little bit fast, just pull back on the throttle. Alright, the plane's still trying to get us on the correct course. I think it's safe to go outside. Reset the view. Wow, that's beautiful. So in previous videos, I had failed to turn on my overclocking software. Um, this looks like it's working really well. I didn't check the graphics settings this time to see if they had reverted to low. Contact, 
but I think they're okay. Usually you see a lot of anti-aliasing artifacts, um, especially off in the distance. This looks pretty sta stable. This looks like some kind of an old processing plant or something. Very interesting. Take an overhead view. Alright, so the flight's going to be over water a lot of the time, so looks like we're at altitude, we're mostly at heading. I think the plane is still correcting now. Um, throttle looks good, airspeed looks good, so I think we can safely go off and use the drone. So, showcase camera. Let the plane go off and do its own thing, and then let's speed this thing up. Wow, that is an amazing view. My graphics card must be working over hard, over hard, uh, overhead. I'm really curious what this plant is, some kind of um, rusty old thing. Yeah, I'm just fascinated by this. I would love to go to the real place and take pictures. So obviously a lot of the uh, photogrammetry data being applied. Looks like an electrical generation plant, maybe? I don't know. Judging by all the what look like towers and things over here. Alright, well let's see. Oops. Let's go the other way and see what else is around. Um, not really familiar with this area. Looks pretty heavily populated. I flew into Cleveland once for a business meeting and then flew back out. That's my experience with Cleveland. I've been to Michigan, but I've not been to N Detroit, Michigan, where we're headed. I'm not really seeing anything that interesting. Of course, the plane is... Let's, in fact, let's check on the plane. The plane's going to be seeing water for a long time. Um, I haven't pulled up the VFR map in a long time, but I can get an idea here. I'm starting to learn how to read these maps. I need more experience. But I think this was a Bravo airspace. So yeah, a lot of water, but then our destination over there. Frequency change approved KH437. Cleveland approach KH437 is type Beechcraft King Air 16 miles northwest of Niner Oscar Hotel 4. Request flight following. KH437 Cleveland approach. Squawk 0414. Wait for all these textures to reload in the memory. KH-437. KH-437 radar contact 17 I think it's uh, replacing Niner default with rich, more richly Alpha detailed Alpha ones or something. Uh, so what else can we see? Copy KH-437. Trying to get kind of an overview of this area. Um, there's a sudden change in land color over here. This looks like a radar, I mean a satellite photo seam, maybe. That's what I usually think is going on there. Uh, somebody ought to figure out how to do color matching or something. Uh, 
It looks like some kind of a cement plant or something. I don't know. Well, it's right next to the water, so maybe it's lumber or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can see this arbitrary difference in the land color from kind of a pale green to a brownish green. So I think that is a satellite photo seam. Some little airstrip there. All right. Well, I'll just head up in this direction and see what see what I see. Right here at the seam. It doesn't seem like it's exactly straight. It seems kind of jagged. In fact, you can see the jagged edges of it right here. I think. Yep. Yeah. So it's like a living satellite photo. There were different cars parked, and that one's at a different resolution. I presume over time they'll replace these photos with updated ones. Um, there's a seam between a couple of adjacent shots from the same satellite, I guess. Just an arbitrary seam in the world there. When you're high enough up, you're not going to notice all that, but still, it'd be nice to... I, mean, I think they're eventually going to support helicopters and other things, and so it'd be nice to have the ground look as real as possible. Oh, solar panels. That's nice. Okay, so we're supposed to be flying. Let's see... Oh, we're coming up on some land, so that's kind of interesting. That might be worth exploring. I'm going to reset the drone. There we go. Set it back to full speed. But this time we'll stay connected to the plane. Alright, so let's see what this is. Grab my pilot's thermos and sip some coffee. <coughs> All right, well, it just looks like a farming island of some kind. Um, wonder why it's not more developed than that. Pele Island, okay. Um, and you can land there, nice. Must be privately owned or something. You'd think that that'd be a great place to have something other than farming. They do a good job with no visible tiling in vast repeating textures like the water. Okay, so here we have some kind of a little dock kind of situation. Moving because of the plane dragging us along. I think I can hold this steady. Anyway, Pele Island is slightly interesting. And resetting to the plane. There might be some nice external view looks from here. Oh yeah, I like that. It's beautiful. I could use some new graphics for my YouTube masthead, so maybe something like that.
it's slowing down. I must have hit something here. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to begin pulling back on the throttle. Let's get this plane going slower. Don't really need to lose much altitude at the moment. I can afford to lose speed, though. So we'll just keep an eye on the throttle and keep edging it down. day for flying. I see a plane up in the upper right quadrant. A little tiny speck. There's some windmills over on the right side that are spinning. You should be able to see them there on the left. I hold the button. Seven, three okay, I'm going to set a new altitude target of 2200. And I'm going to drop the throttle some more. So we'll try to lose some altitude and speed at the same time. See a bunch more windmills here. Alright, so we're doing a good job on speed. Set a new altitude on my Logitech control. I'm not sure how to make it go into effect. I guess uh, maybe um, light level change. That's a button I don't have on the Logitech. I think there's a way to do it, it's just things are slightly labeled differently. Okay, so that's on, so that should drop us to the right altitude. Still need to lose a bunch more speed. Putting the landing gear down will help with that. It's too early to put them down now or not? Probably. It sounded kind of loud when I uh, had them open up their hatches. Now, if I dropped the throttle all the way, it's gonna—it would have said landing gear, landing gear. So went ahead and got ahead of that, I guess, by putting it down now. Okay, the altitude light kicked in now on my Logitech control, so it's going to hold us at 2200, or I guess we got within the range, and so now it's happy to take control of it. Still need to drop speed, so I'm going to keep the throttle all the way down. Alright, so now we can put the flaps down part way. 
so what I'm going to do is take over from autopilot, put the flaps down, push on the stick, Detroit Metro approach get our throttle back up to about 10% Request so we don't to keep losing Charlie speed. Airspace. Okay, don't really want to lose altitude and should keep the airport in view. Back on the throttle just a tad. We seem to have plenty of airspeed. I'm going to need to drop it more. I think I once, once it drops a bit more, I will put the flaps down all the way. I'm kind of fighting gaining altitude and gaining speed here. I think it's safe to put them down the rest of the way. Again, hard push on the stick. The throttle's got to come back up to the halfway point at this point. Okay, so we've dropped a bunch of speed, but things are stable. curious what this little airport here looks like. Suppose I should maybe be steering around it or something. Now if I was going to become a real pilot, my focus might be more on doing things by regulation. I'm really mostly interested in learning how to control the aircraft, learn how to control all the surfaces, do the right things. At some point I would like to learn more about all the regulations, um, steering around things you're not supposed to go over, that kind of stuff. But I don't feel like worrying about it too much now. And drop throttle down to maybe 25% see if we can get some speed down. I think I'm going to be making a left turn into the runway. Metro Tower KH-437 is 1-1 one, one miles southeast with Quebec to land. Skyward 3675, turn next taxiway. KH-437 Detroit Metro Tower. Fly left traffic, runway 22 left. Altimeter 3, 0 decimal 0, 0 and 3, 2 a 2 2 Okay, altitude is off a bit. Fly left downwind, runway 22 left, KH-437. Okay, so there is our entry. Give us some thrust so we can take care of these turns. Dropped a bunch of speed due to an altitude climb, but we can get that back easily. Okay, I may not need so much thrust now. Let me pull back on that, maybe 
Plane feels like it wants to turn towards that pattern entry, so we'll oblige. So calm, I almost went into a trance for a moment. It just feels very nice and stable. The speed is good. I'm not panicking at the last minute to drop a bunch of speed. It's a little hard to tell how close I am to the entry, but I do see the marker in the HUD, so I'll just kind of head for that. Seems like a beautiful day for flying. Just enough clouds to make the sky interesting.
All right, so we've been given cleared to land runway two two left KH four three seven. Landing clearance. It's getting a little darker outside. The clouds are building a bit. I'm assuming it's just humidity. I didn't check what the outside temperature is. Give us a little bit of thrust going into this turn, just in case. And then pull back on the throttle. It seems like this is fine. Alright. I'm going to get back over towards the right side. We do need to slow down some more. So let's bring the throttle down to about 5%. Alright, that marker changed color. Okay, so quick mental checklist. We've got the landing gear down got the flaps down all the way, throttles at 5%, heading towards the right side of the brackets so I can keep visual center on the runway, I'm trying to keep the plane level, I'm trying to keep us airborne, we're dropping in speed a bit, I'm going to bring throttle up to maybe 10%. Last second turns before you land always feel just a little tricky. Okay, I'm gonna drop that all the way. Let's see what we can do to glide in now. I feel like we're going a little bit too fast. I think we may be okay though. I don't feel like I need to give it any more throttle at this point. I might be wrong about that. Just a little tad of thrust. We don't want to land in the grass. Although that's sort of what I'm doing, I think. Alright, so not squarely on the runway. Maybe I'll get there. And let's try to gently get it down, put the brakes down, put the flaps up really quickly, hit the brakes, and find our way off of this place. Looks like I can turn here. So a little off center, but otherwise the landing felt okay. Uh, I feel like I'm making improvement. I mean, it's obviously not a great landing, but for me, I thought that was pretty good. So let's put the parking brake on and let's contact ground and request taxi to parking. Detroit Metro Ground, KH-437, request taxi to parking. KH-437, taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Zulu 5 Zulu. Taxiing to general aviation parking via taxiway Zulu 5 Zulu, KH-437. Not sure what that was. Oh, the parking's right there. We're actually really close. Yeah, the weather's getting crappier by the minute. 
but that's okay because we're going to land the plane and then we'll go have lunch or something uh, indoors, imaginarily. Okay, we need a little bit more thrust. That was a bit much. Update on my uh, T rudder pedals. They are still working okay, um, but it does seem like I need to power cycle them though first, even despite the soldering fix. They don't seem to want to. Oh, too fast. Uh, I'm gonna run the guy over. Ah, sorry. Um, yeah, they do seem to need power cycling. So now I just make sure to check them every time before I start a new recording. Okay, so there go the engines. Here we are in Detroit. Probably not, not one of the hand-built airports. Looks kind of rinky-dink, actually. But functional, I suppose. Let's see, maybe there's a shot possible here for my uh, YouTube channel masthead. I don't know. I'll try different things. Alright, let's see, back inside. Turn the plane off. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.